It's the roar of the presses. Working day and night in the north, south, east, and west of our nation, these daily presses pour out over 48 million newspapers. And behind these millions of headlines are the country's ace reporters, men and women who bring you the inside story. Tonight, the makers of Maxwell House Coffee bring you America's press conference of the air, Meet the Press, where you'll meet top newsmen in an unrehearsed, spontaneous press conference with one of the outstanding personalities in today's news, Senator Hubert H. Humphrey. I am definitely interested in economy and government. And an economy and government to me does not necessarily mean spending little. It means spending what you have and spending it well. Uh, we may have to use lumberjack tactics, bare knuckle tactics. If those are the only kind of tactics the communists understand, then those are the tactics we we'll use. Well, it's always the question of how many. If you've got 51% of them, you win an election. If you've got 49%, you lose. I'm an expert on that subject. <laughs> You can never defeat the communist movement in Indochina until you get the support of the natives, and you won't get the support of the natives as long as they feel that the French are fighting the communists in order to hold their own power there. Well, That's wouldn't mine. your grandfather, yeah. Vice President Stevenson, twirl in his grave if he saw you running away from the chance to be the Democratic nominee in 52? Well, I think we'll have to leave grandfather alive, he said. <laughs> I doubt that any man could honestly say that he felt that he was the best man qualified to be either the president or the vice president of the United States. Well, the uh, first thing I think is to get a realization of the American people and then of the Congress of the burdens that have been heaped on the president as a result of this fabulous growth in the government. Throughout Jewish history, if the Jewish people went out of existence, it just because other people wanted them to go out of existence, there wouldn't be a Jewish people today, and there wouldn't be an Israel today. We should recognize right now that arms to the Middle East is so much down the drain because they could no more actually stand up against the Red Army without atom war or than they could fly. As far as grousing is concerned, I've never yet gone to any place in my life that people don't grumble. Here in New York City, I hear a lot of my friends grumbling about certain laws. And when I was in Louisiana, I heard a lot of New Orleans people grumbling about the Yankees. To send a manned rocket around the moon without a landing on the moon's surface, this I think could be done within maybe a little more than five and a little less than ten years. The hardship of accounting. Never ask of money spent where the spender thinks it went. Nobody was ever meant to remember or invent what he did with every cent. Many people used to call democracy seeing things that are not democracy. Democracy has uh, some failed, not the idea. Those who use, some, some of those who use democracy were. I am not communist. I am not agree with communists. And I question whether or not any one of the four of you sitting there can go through the same investigation Hoffa did and come out with a record Hoffa can proudly say is his after three and a half years that they have found nothing wrong with Hoffa's finance. How in a democracy do you fix a successor? I don't understand it. If you say when to train a person, I imagine that if a person is chosen for that and announced, there'd be such a so many jealousies and uh, that poor man would have not much of a chance when the time came for him to get on. If you're talking about too many Kennedys, uh, you should have talked to my mother and father uh, <laughs> at the time when they were getting started. Well, I think I can say to you that the Evan Charlie show as such will continue. I wish they'd call it the joint leadership show, which it properly is, but we don't mind the appellation. Everything that happens at the University of Alabama is going to be uh, peaceful and serene. We uh, are not going to have any violence uh, at all. And of course, it remains to be seen as to what uh, action will be taken by uh, the Justice Department of the central government uh, at that time. Our guest today on Meet the Press is His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia. The Emperor is a direct descendant of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. I think we all have moral obligations to obey 
just laws. On the other hand, I think we have moral obligations to disobey unjust laws because non-cooperation with evil is as much a moral obligation as is cooperation with good. Well, youth is a matter of uh, which side uh, you look at it from. I mean, if you ask a 20-year-old, 47, 48 seems quite old. Of course, if you ask somebody who's 80 years old, you think it's young. I think in experience, I'm quite old by now. There's nothing uglier than blood on a car. Uh, there's no incompatibility between uh, style and function. In fact, the most beautiful uh, vehicles, the most beautiful engineering designs are those uh, that have an important and, and thorough function to them. Perhaps I've been accused in some cases of being a little more outspoken than vice presidents usually are, but it's only because I understand that my contribution to the administration, as the president understands it, will be enhanced by my being completely candid and forthright. Well, three and a half years ago, the South Vietnamese forces were on the verge of defeat. The North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces were on the verge of victory. That is not true today. The balance has definitely moved toward the South Vietnamese. We've uh, closed down, well, for instance, we had a small yacht which we had to sell, and uh, I should probably have to give up polo feathers to them, things like that. I'm on a different allowance anyway, but I've also been on it for the last 18 years. As far as we are concerned, we are not the toys of any country, uh, including the United States. Uh, it's hard for me to say. I'm not as uh, hawkish as uh, Senator Jackson on some aspects of foreign policy. I'm certainly not as liberal on many uh, elements of uh, importance to the American people as was George McGovern. I would uh, put myself, in my opinion, above either one of them as a candidate for president. Now, detente is not always going to mean that we solve every problem because some of them are very complex and very controversial. It does mean it is a mechanism for the relaxation of tension. My aim and the aim of my organization and the aim of my people is to establish our democratic Palestinian state where Jews, Christians, and Muslims can live in equality and friendship. I earn my living out on the speaking circuit, uh, doing a radio commentary and a once a week newspaper column. I, I was very happy and elated because uh, uh, I came here uh, with, with, with uh, uh, I mean, a very important uh, uh, thing to ask President Reagan is, uh, that is, uh, uh, to continue in the peace process with us as a full partner. I support the law at every level. I support our national security. I support an economy wherein all Americans are protected and educated and not punished by their race about their sex. I think what Ronald Reagan has done is make clear to the blue-collar worker, to the ethnic communities across the, across the country, that we represent their values and that the progress since Carter Mondale uh, days has been dramatic. That's a double-edged sword. Uh, so that, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if I, were, if I were not a woman, if I would be judged in the same way in my candidacy, whether or not I'd be asked questions like, you know, are you strong enough to push the button? Our biggest problem was agriculture, feeding ourselves, and with the best technology, which means the best seeds, the best fertilizers, the best implements, we were able to overcome that, and today we are more than self-sufficient. In fact, we are surplus in food. People are out of work, and farmers can't make a profit, and we can't sell anything overseas because of the strong dollar. And all these politicians keep talking about the deficit, but nobody does anything about it. In, in my opinion, uh, Donald Reagan, uh, uh, Ronald Reagan won in 1980 because uh, our own president was an extremely unpopular man at the particular time. I think the freedom is a great thing. And the first time you start feeling yourself the free man, really the free man, you will never refuse from it. I am president. I was proclaimed by the only constitutional body that can convert and proclaim uh, uh, the winner in a presidential election. So why should I step down? Now, I've made no specific plans to run for president, and I won't until later this year, early next year. That's a matter I have to discuss with my family and friends and a lot of others. Well, this is not a portrait of American <coughs> diplomacy. It's a portrait of what happened in a particular instance. 
and some of the things that have been revealed I find sickening. I think that the, that the writing of these tax packages had, an, had a, a major effect in what's happened to the stock market over the, over the course of the past three or four days. And that's Meet the Press for this Sunday. I'm Chris Wallace. For all of us here at NBC News, have a good week.